Hello my chickadees, my chickadees? I don't know where that's come from, I'm so sorry. I have not said the word chickadees since I was in like year seven. So that's come from the depths of my brain somewhere. But hello you guys. Hello my loves, my friends, whoever you are. How are we all? Happy Sunday. I have just made myself a cup of coffee in my cutie new little mug that I showed in my last vlog. I'm obsessed with it. Got my ice roller, ready to have myself a morning. My parents are coming over in the next little bit. Nick's just gone to cricket training, so I actually have the house to myself for the entirety of today. I feel like I have not seen my husband all week. Like, where has he been? <laughs> He's been in the office every single day this week, which is like so unusual. He normally works from home like four or five days out of the week. He's been in the office and he has been at cricket training or like some form of cricket activity like every night this week. So I feel like I've barely seen the man and now he's out all day. So I love being a single mum. <laughs> no, I'm happy that he's doing his thing and doing what he loves, but I miss him. Mabel misses him too. It's so funny. If I say right now, if I say, where's daddy? I guarantee you she will stop what she's doing and start looking for him. It's the cutest thing. And she is like chewing on this horn. She is preoccupied. Mabel, where's daddy? Where's daddy? Oh, okay, I feel mean now. I'm sorry, come back, he's not here. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad now. That is so mean of me. I'm sorry, Mabel Boo. Come here. It's okay. What's this? Yeah, there we go. All has been forgotten. But yeah, it's just me today. So I'm going to tackle this house. I have a bunch of laundry that I need to do. And I want to sit down and just like really nut out my life, to be honest. Nut out my life is probably not the best way of putting it. But just like really have a good planning session. I need to sit down in front of my desktop computer with my Google Cal and my emails and work out posting dates and deadlines. Like I have a lot of content coming up over the next few weeks, which is really exciting. And it's all good things, but I'm starting to feel like a little bit overwhelmed between social media work and my part-time job and just life, honestly. I feel like there is not enough hours in the day to get it all done. And I'm just feeling a little <sighs> overwhelmed. So I need to sit down and figure that out. I know as soon as I put pen to paper or like fingers to keyboard I will feel a whole lot better just planning everything I'm a planner I really am so I need to figure that out this morning just spend like half an hour 45 minutes doing that do some laundry because we have so much it's like overflowing and yeah get my life together really but I have my parents coming over in the next little bit they are coming to help me set up our new spare bed for the guest room I'm so excited to finally have a complete space again i say again we've actually never had a proper spare bedroom in any of our houses we've been living out of home for like three or four years at this point and even though we've had the room for it we've just like never bothered because we've always been renting it just never really felt like our home to to do that and invite guests over and we've never really been anywhere long enough to put in the effort to set up a spare room so really excited to have our own guest room in our own house and I want to have a bit of fun with it our room I love it's like such an oasis there's a lot of neutrals and whites which I really enjoy it feels really relaxing and calm in there which is what I wanted in our room but I think it would be really nice to have have, have a bit of fun with it and add a bit of color so we'll see I'm either thinking like pinks or I'm really vibing green right now I mean look at me she was wearing green as we speak. So I don't know. We'll see what we end up with. But I have my dad coming over to help set that up. And then if I have time this afternoon, I'll head to the shops and do a bit of duvet pillow shopping, if you will. But I'm going to sit here, ice roll my face, watch some YouTube before I get stuck into the day. But happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let's say hi to the vlog. She got her first haircut yesterday. Just a little trim around the ears and around the paws. It looks so pretty. You're so grown up. I feel like you guys have literally watched her grow up. Isn't that crazy? Okay, the bed is all assembled. I think it looks so good. I'm loving this great. We had a cream headboard before. It's just kind of a nightmare to keep clean, to be honest. So I'm really loving this gray. This is the C 
signature bed from Emma Sleep. They were also nice enough to send me one of their duvets. I think this is the all season duvet and then two of their foam pillows. We're like fully set up, ready to go. This is their comfort mattress. And then downstairs in our bed, we have the diamond hybrid mattress. Honestly, both are great. We used this for several years and we loved it. Cannot rave enough about their mattresses, honestly. I'm really excited. I'm kind of jealous. I think we might swap out the duvet and the pillows for these because ours aren't as nice as this. Sorry to any of our guests staying. <laughs> Big thank you to Emma Sleep for sponsoring this portion of the vlog and helping set up our new spare bedroom. Even Mabel wants a piece of this. Look at this. Isn't this so nice? Yeah. You love our Emma mattress. <laughs> This is a tried and true customer right here. She loves our bed. As I said, we have the Emma Diamond Hybrid mattress, which I feel like would pair perfectly with the Emma bed and all of their accessories. Just helping curate that perfect, uninterrupted, deep, cool sleep to help kickstart an amazing day. I feel like sleep and quality of sleep can be so overlooked sometimes. We were sleeping on a pretty dodgy mattress before this and since switching to Emma, not only am I getting a much better sleep and much better quality of sleep, but I feel like it's also helped our relationship the mattress has like this built-in technology that helps with like movement and cooling. So I feel like it's truly saved our marriage in a lot of ways. Nick, I love him. I love him to pieces, but he is, he's a mover. He's a mover and a groover, a very active sleeper. And it, before I was just like feeling every little twitch and roll. And <laughs> now I don't even, I don't even know he's there to be honest. So I wake up feeling so good thanks to my Emma mattress. So if you're in the market for a new bed frame or mattress, pillows, duvet, whatever your sleep accessory needs are, um, Emma Sleep are currently having a free pillow promotion on their award-winning and best-selling mattresses until the 6th of November. So I'll have a link in the description box down below. And if you use my code Ella Sleep, you'll get a further discount off their already amazing prices which is just unreal so big thank you to emma sleep for helping us set up our spare bedroom i feel like we're finally starting to make this house a home like this is step one we're starting with the basics comfy basics a good foundation i feel confident knowing that our guests are gonna have a good night's sleep in this bed honestly i might be stealing this because this is nicer than our current duvet and these like yes ma'am Oh, that's the bit of me that is. So, if you see these make their way down to our bedroom. No, you didn't. <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, so sleek. Do you like it? I like the grey. That's very cool. Yeah. Do you like it, Mabel Me? Do you like it, Mabel Me? Yeah. Mabel likes it. And now she's going all the kisses. She's <laughs> death by love. Did you miss your daddy? Yeah, do you miss your daddy? Now that the bed is done, I still haven't like, I need to go to the shops. I want to go to the shops really bad, but I don't think I'm going to have time today, to be honest. The day has already kind of escaped me. I've done two loads of laundry, hoovered, tidied up the house a little bit. And now I'm going to sit down and figure out this calendar of mine. I always get questions about how I keep organized and like how I organize my life. I do have the Steph Pace signature planner, which I really, I do like. This year especially, I found myself not really using it a whole lot. It's really pretty and very aesthetic. I just haven't really been using it a whole lot. So I don't know if I'm going to get it next year or if I want to change to a different planner. I'm not entirely sure. It might just be like a me thing that I need to work on. But I usually use my Google Cal. That's like my saving grace. And I have it broken down into different calendars so I can kind of show you guys what that looks like. I basically have a whole separate calendar for every single aspect of my life. So I have YouTube, bills, like our mortgage due. Sometimes I schedule in editing, errands, filming, gym, Instagram posts, and then just general life stuff. Like any social events, purple and then blue is payday. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm not gonna show you everything obviously, but that kind of gives you a bit of a snapshot. I'm trying to like hide things so that's kind of what we're working with i think maybe one month i might go through maybe in like one of my resets and plan together like do a little plan with me session when i don't have so much personal stuff going on because i don't want to reveal too much but i guess i can show you i'll show you what it looks like in previous months yeah i can show you guys this this is last month you can see i've got my work days in green Paydays in blue, any live stuff in purple. So I have my Port Douglas trip, my YouTube stuff's in pink. Yeah, kind of gives you guys an overview. Here's another example. This is May. And then this is what it looks like 
from a day perspective. So sometimes I'll schedule in, like this is an example of me scheduling in and time blocking my days. I haven't actually done it in a while, but this particular day I decided to do the 9th of May. My weekly vlog went up that day. I had from 8 to 9.30 tidy the house, then property manager photos, 11 to 12 admin, and then 12 to 3 edit the weekly vlog. It's kind of like a typical Tuesday. So sometimes I'll time block. Here's what it looks like on a weekly basis. I really like having the separate calendars because everything's color coded. It's so satisfying. I can go back and see on the 8th of May, rent was due. Uh, don't miss that. <laughs> the 9th, the weekly vlog went up and it's got little asterisks, which means it was sponsored. That's how I kind of differentiate between sponsored and non-sponsored content at like a glance. Then Wednesday was next payday. And then the 12th, our mortgage was due. So this was a, an expensive week. I think this was our last week of paying rent, thank God. And then I had work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, gals lunch, Mother's Day event, completion inspection. Wow. How fun. So that's kind of how I organize my life. And now that I've got this desktop computer, my little iMac baby, which I'm obsessed with, I just touched the screen, whoops. There's gonna be a fingerprint there now. <laughs> it's gonna really bother me. Now that I have this, I feel even more inclined to really time block my days. And I feel like I'm kind of getting at that point in my life. <laughs> where I either need to be really organized or like things are just not gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? Like I just can't afford to just dilly dally through life. I've always kind of just gone with the flow and just done what feels right in a weird kind of way. Almost like intuitive eating, but like intuitive doing. Intuitive productivity. I know what I have to get done. I have got a list. I schedule in like the main events. If I have a sponsored video, deadlines. I know my usual upload days and I know when I have social events on and then everything else I kind of figure out in between. But I'm getting to the point where I just like have so much to do. I think I need a time block more of my days. So I'm gonna do that I think as like a little experiment this next week. So there's just so much going on and it's weeks like these where I think it's imperative that I sit down and actually just like work out what needs to be done, what's a priority, what's not a priority and schedule out every single second of my week. So <laughs> we're going to do that. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay. a big old to-do list because I have a lot of content that I need to film today. I have an Instagram reel with Emco Beauty. I got sent a bunch of their stuff, which I'm really excited about. This big old package of goodies. So I'm gonna do like a first impressions, like get to know me, get ready with me kind of um, for Instagram and TikTok. So I filmed that today and I also have some Instagram story, like an Instagram story set that I need to film um, and send through for brand approval. So a lot of content. I need to edit this vlog. So I think this is going up today. I'm also still waiting on brand approval, but it should be going up today. This is like my favorite part is actually creating the content. It's all like the back end stuff, which I don't particularly enjoy when it comes to um, social media is like the analytics and emails and like admin -y work. It's kind of nice to have a bit of both, like that variety, um, but actually making the content I really enjoy. Yeah, 
just a, another Thursday in the life. Yesterday was, I was meant to work, but I actually took it as a mental health day, which I don't think I've ever done, even through like everything that I've gone through with like myself and my family. Like I've never, never taken a day off for like my mental health, but I was just really struggling the last couple of days. Um, I feel fine now. Well, not fine, but I feel better now. I don't know. I think it's like, the anniversary of a lot of things and a lot of like feelings this time a year ago. It's crazy how quickly my life's changed. It's about to start raining again. It absolutely poured down this morning, came out of nowhere. And I feel like it's about to do the same again. Mabel, do you wanna come inside? You're gonna get wet. I'm gonna get Mabel. <laughs> This weather, you guys, crazy. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I've just been subconsciously like suppressing a lot of feelings, good and bad. And I felt almost like numb, which is not a good place to be. Like I'm a very emotional woman, <laughs> very in tune with my emotions normally, but there was like some things, like I was talking about them, I was thinking about them, but I like literally just like wasn't allowing myself to feel any emotion like I had suppressed it because it's like too painful or too like traumatic to be honest oh my god I'm gonna cry I'm clearly feeling my feelings now I think I just needed a day to like really reset and like I feel on the weekends there's always something to be doing like there's no free time really it's either an opportunity to socialize and see people or you, there's just things you need to do like you just haven't had time during the week to get them done and I just needed a day with zero expectations knowing that if I hadn't taken the day off like as a mental health day like I would otherwise be working and so I almost allowed myself to like fully relax and fully like be with my thoughts and my feelings and I think I really needed that. So just a reminder, I've never done this personally but I think it was so good for the soul like if you are needing to take a mental health day like your mental health is equally if not more important than your physical health as well just because you can't like see something or there might not be something that's physically wrong with you like you are still justified in looking after yourself and taking a day so yeah i really needed that i'm feeling 10 times better today which is good um i definitely think i need to see someone i feel fine in myself but i think if i'm not feeling my feelings and like working through them i think it could catch up to me one day do you know what i mean like there's only so long that you can go with suppressing feelings and i think having a professional to like talk through work through even things from like my childhood even from like before i was even born like i've never met my biological father and like is that something that affects me i don't know i don't think it is actually to be honest because i have an amazing father like my dad that you see in my vlogs and on my social media is technically my stepdad but like he is my dad you know so i don't feel like i I'm missing out on anything but as I get older and, and as I get closer to having a family of my own just like grappling with the idea that like someone could know and be in a position to be a father and like chooses not to like I just can't imagine that but <laughs> anyway this is like such a deep <laughs> way to start the day but um I'm gonna go film some fun little TikToks and some Instagram <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like completely unloading here. I what's the time? It's almost nine o'clock. The day is escaping me already, but I'm gonna wash off my fake tan. I faked tan for the first time in like three weeks. It feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And get ready. I'm doing a first impression so this is part of my getting ready process. I'm so excited. I had so many people respond saying like they love Enco Beauty products. I had a couple of my friends be like, this is the best. I'm so excited. So Look out for that on my Instagram and my TikTok. My Instagram and TikTok is filmed, which is wonderful. I still have another bit of content to do, but I'm taking a quick little break. Sorry, don't mind me. With my little clips, just keeping it real. I cannot stand when my hair, my face, my hair is in my face. It's like my biggest pet peeve. I don't know how, as a child, I used to have one of those huge front fringes because right now that's literally my worst nightmare and i still need to do my hair but tiktok is filmed tiktok instagram and yeah i still have some more filming to do but i'm gonna take a break and make myself a nick a coffee who's working from home today look how good my makeup turned out i just did like a kind of natural 
like everyday makeup look with the Emco Beauty products. So impressed. Genuinely obsessed. Also, <laughs> my outfit today actually makes no sense. Like, fashionista who? It's okay, guys. Only God can judge us. Forget the haters, because somebody loves us. <laughs> I feel like I don't even need a coffee, but I do. I need one for my soul. I'm also having a major craving for Starbucks. I was just talking about how I used to work at Starbucks when I was doing my Instagram reels, like sharing facts, like get to know me, because I've gotten so many new followers on my Instagram and my TikTok recently. Um, and I talked about how, yeah, I used to work at Starbucks when I lived in Canada. And I miss it. I, we don't have a Starbucks in Adelaide. We don't have a Starbucks or a Zarafas, which is so unfortunate. Um, and I was just watching Rachel's new vlog where she tried making the brown sugar shaken espresso ice brown sugar shaken espresso drink which i also made probably like a year ago now with our old espresso machine but i haven't given it a go with our new machine so we're gonna give it a whirl also this octopus pal thingy great love it revolutionary for tiktok life but it just simply sticks to everything and it's the worst sound ever Kind of gonna wing this from memory. We've got a double shot. I actually don't even know if I have brown sugar, so this might be a fail. I should have checked. Oh yeah, we do. It's okay. Never fear. I'm gonna do like a teaspoon of this. Maybe a spinch more. And then I'm gonna do which, oops, of cinnamon. Oh, now, the shake. Oh, I'm scared it's coming out. I'm gonna do this at the sink because I'm scared. Oh my god, it's coming out. I knew it. Okay. I'm gonna grab. Another cup of ice. And a little concoction. And then milk. Wow. Look at that. Cheers. Should we try it out? Mabel, you can't have any. No, you can't. Okay, here we go. Little taste test. I know you want some. Okay. You are so nosy. Yeah, you are. I think more brown sugar. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of cinnamon, which is wonderful. I'm really getting no brown sugar here. Like it's good, it's good. But like for that real brown sugar shaken espresso experience, I feel like it needs more, more sugar. Unless it's well at the bottom, I can't really tell. I also wasn't able to give the shaking my full chest. I wasn't able to give it everything I've got because it was leaking, but pretty good. I mean, if you follow the recipe and add more brown sugar, I think it's pretty close to be honest. I just miss Starbucks, honestly. It was like one of my favorite jobs ever. I love working as a travel agent and obviously I love doing my social media. That's like probably one of the best jobs I've ever had. It definitely is. That's like my childhood dream is doing social media part-time and I feel so lucky to be living out that dream. Like it doesn't actually feel real. Like I try not to think about it too much because then I get imposter syndrome. But the fact that I make silly little videos and post silly little photos, I get paid to do it and this is my job. Like. What a crazy life. And especially having done it for so long as a hobby. And now it's like helps pay the bills. So crazy. Anyway, I think working at Starbucks was definitely up there in terms of jobs I've had. It's just so fun. It felt like I was making potions every day that I was at work. Cause it's really an art form and it's all about like memory and sequence. So it was like a nice mix of feeling like I was in Harry Potter in potions class, but then also almost like cooking mama vibes. If you guys played that DS game when you were growing up big cooking mama vibes because it was like two pumps of this two pumps of that shake this shake that like there's a whole process behind it i just wish that we had 
a Starbucks here in Adelaide, then it really would be the, the perfect place to live. It's not even like it's exceptionally good coffee either. It's, I mean, in terms of America and at least Canada, like in my experience, it was the best coffee I came across. We have a very good coffee culture in Australia, so it's not even like the coffee's that great. It's not bad. It's not like the best coffee ever. It's just the ex experience and like the fun drinks the seasonal drinks like there's just something about it is so nostalgic to me so i wish we had it here but nick and i i think are planning a trip to sydney like a little weekend trip because he has to go for work in december um and i think i might tag along with him hopefully if i can make it work and head up there it'd be christmas time in sydney which i've never experienced before i have not been to sydney in like seven or eight years so tbd on that but I think that's in the works. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I have to finish editing and uploading this today. So it's like real time. I hope you guys are all doing well. I just wanna say the biggest thank you for all of the support on all of my channels. Cause I am a TikToker now. If you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you do so. I'm having so much fun with it and I feel like hopefully it's translating in my vlogs. I feel like I'm finding a good balance again between long form and short form content. It was, I was a little, got a little carried away for a while there with my short form content and just only having eyes and motivation for that. But I feel like I'm finding a nice balance and a nice groove um, with everything. And I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice to have another platform to connect with you guys. And I got a couple of comments on my last TikTok, like what I spend in a week from people saying that I just like popped up on their for you page and they used to watch me back in the day when I like made makeup videos, which is so wild. So to have like people rediscover my channels and yeah, I love making finance content. Like it's really one of my biggest passions is like creating more of a conversation around finances, especially, especially for young women. Cause it's so taboo and so it's just like not talked about. And I feel like knowledge is power and if i can help even one single person out there just by talking about what i spend my money on or how i budget or what i'm doing with my money like i want to help people so i've really been enjoying the finance personal finance content and really just feeling good honestly compared to yesterday <laughs> And the beginning of this week, I'm feeling like it's night and day. I feel like a new woman. Anyway, I'm going to end off this video here so I can get it up tonight for you guys. Big thank you again to Emma Sleep for sponsoring this video. I'll have my personalized link down below if you guys want to check them out and their free pillow promotion. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very, very soon for another video. Bye, guys.